Uh, greetings, everybody. Jeffrey Goodman, Stratomatic Sports Network. Once again, we are at Candlestick for the first of a two-game series, and it's a big one. Atlanta at San Francisco. The first place Atlanta Braves coming in to San Francisco. The Braves have a four and one half game lead over the Giants. And this is do or die almost for the Giants. They'll have McCormick in this game and then Marichal on tomorrow's date, September 16. And Kevin Hayes has arrived. Glad to see Kevin Hayes. And it's a big one, folks. So fasten your seatbelts here. Pitching in today's game will be Pat Jarvis, right-hander for the Braves, and Mike McCormick, the southpaw, for the Giants. Jarvis has won 13, McCormick has won 11. Again, in the next game, it's the last game of this series, it'll be Ron Reed for the Braves <coughs> and Juan Marichal. For the Giants. And we have Kevin Hayes for the Giants. I'm for the Giants. I'll have the lineups in about five minutes. Stand by, please. First pitch is at the top of the hour. I guess I'll go ahead with the lineups right now. For the uh, Atlanta Braves, leading off in center field, Felipe Alou. Batting second at second base, it's Felix Mion. Batting third in right, Henry Aaron. The cleanup hitter is Rico Cardi, he'll play left field. Batting fifth at first base, Orlando Cepeda. Batting sixth and playing third, Cletus Boyer. 
Batting seventh, the catcher, Bob Tillman. Batting eighth, that shortstop, Gil Garrido. And the pitcher, right-hander, Pat Jarvis, he has 113. He's been a big part of this Braves success. They have a, again, a four and one half game lead. Uh, the Giants are four games behind in the loss columns, so that's better. And Kathy Harden for the Giants. There she is. Let's look at the Giants lineup here. Leading off is Tito Fuentes at third base. Batting second at second is Ron Hunt. Batting third in center, it's Willie Mays. The cleanup hitter is Willie McCovey. He's at first base. Bobby Bonds batting fifth and right. Ken Henderson batting sixth. He's in left field. Jack Heat will do the catching, batting seventh. The shortstop, Hal Lanier, batting eighth. And the pitcher, left-hander, Mike McCormick. He was Cy Young in 1967. He's 111. Occasional in, uh, soreness, unable to pitch at times. I'm waiting for my chillums. They're really not chillums, Kathy. They are glass tubes. And I realized because of that, And these are used for baking and other things. Because of that, I'm going to have to use, and I looked it up, a way to deal with that so your product doesn't fall through a mesh, which I just happen to have. I can cut a small piece of mesh. <sighs> and put it in the tube and it will, it, I think that will work. So we'll work on it. Meanwhile, the thing should be here any, any, day, any moment. Uh, there's a few more stops. It said four stops. Now it says a few stops before my place. This is it, folks. Do or die, almost. Uh, two game series. And the Giants hope to come out of this only two and a half games out. The Braves, after this, will have 14 games left. The Giants, after this, will have 15 games left. First pitch in four minutes. Stand by, please.
The X post is almost up. Coming up in a mi less than a minute. There it is. The X post is up. Let's make sure the link works. It does. And there it is. Candlestick Park. Right on the bay there. For this ball game. And we like to thank Kathy Harden for the repost. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you very much. I've read a lot of criticisms about Candlestick. I guess it's torn down now, right? the San Francisco Giants take the field. There it is. It's Mike McCormick on the mound taking his warm-ups. Catching him as he hits in the infield. McCovey at first, Hunt at second, Fuentes at third, Lanier at short, outfield left to right, Henderson, Mays, and Bonds. And leading it off is Felipe Alou for the Braves. Here we go, folks. Fasten your seatbelts. Clearly, to me, the biggest series of the season thus far. Here's Mike McCormick. He's ready. The windup and the pitch to Felipe. That's going to be 2-10. Two, two Left-handed. It's a ballpark slash for Felipe. And it's going to be a 2. It's probably going through. He's right-handed, and it does for a base hit. So Felipe leads off with a single. <clears throat> and that'll bring up Felix here. Here's McCormick. The infield stays back. Felix lays it down. It's hit back to McCormick. It's an eight. And he has to throw it to first, McCormick. And Felipe goes to second. It's a sacrifice bunt by Felix. So now Felix, uh, Felipe in scoring position with one out. And here's Aaron. That is a strike called on Aaron. Okay, McCormick from the stretch. Here's the pitch. 
That's 5-8 right-handed, lines it to short, caught by Lanier. So it's two away. And that'll bring up Rico. Tell you, tough batting line up here. McCormick now, and the pitch. That's gonna be 210, and he grounds it to third. Fuentes has it, and he throws to McCovey, and the side is out, so McCormick gets out of that with Felipe in scoring position left on after the base hit, no runs. We've gone half here. It's Atlanta nothing, San Francisco coming up here. Yeah, that was tough. I was getting nervous already. Here's Pat Jarvis now. Leading it off, Tito Fuente, switch hitter batting left. Oh. Okay, Jarvis is ready. Here's the pitch to Fuente. That's gonna be five six, switch hitter batting left, and that is a line drive to first, caught by Orlando, one out. And the batter is Ron Hunt. Jarvis gets the sign from Tillman. And the pitch. 5-4, right-handed, grounds it to third X. That'll be for Cletus, he's a 118. Sixteen one, he gets two at G one. E eighteen four eight eleven. Oh, and he boots it. Oh my, an error by Cletus. You wouldn't think so. He is an E eighteen. It was four eight eleven. It can happen. And there it is, E one. So Hunt is on first with one out, and here's Mays now. The pitch to Mays, 1-8, and he flies it to left field. And Cardi is under it, two away. Four stretch McCovey. Here's the pitch to McCovey. One six, it's hit well by Willie. It's deep to right and it's gone. A two run home run for McCovey. Whoa, Willie has hit one out here in the first to make it two nothing Giants. Oh, that's what they needed. Hunt's run will be unearned. Let's look at that again. It was a two-run home run. Off of Pat Jarvis. Whoa. That's exactly what they needed. Oh, the fans are cheering. McCovey on a 1-6 right-handed clean. 
I think that's number 50, but I'm gonna double check. Maybe it's number 48, I'm not sure. Let me check here. That is number 50. That's a big one. And he is now two behind Hot Dog Jackson, who leads the majors with 52. But he clearly leads the National League. Big 5-0 for Willie McCovey. He had 45 in real world. Whew, Lord. And we have a question right after this inning from Kathy. Excellent. Here's Bobby Bonds now. It's two outs, nobody on. Jarvis. The pitch to Bonds. That's 4-9 right-handed. That's hit well by Bonds. Oh, my, it's a back-to-back -back home run. 4-9 right-handed. That's it, 4-9 right-handed. Uh, in home run, 1-13. to 13. It was a 9. He's got the power. And so Bonds hits a home run. And that'll make it three nothing. Who would have thought? And he's number two in the National League with 37 now. Aaron only has 34. Home run number 37 for Bonds. He had 32 in real world. It's all with two outs. Actually, one, two, three, everything is unearned, I'm sorry. Now here's Ken Henderson. Whew, Lord. Here's Jarvis. That's 3-4, and it is a, oh, a liner to first caught by Cepeda, just barely. And the side is retired, but this game ain't over. There were three runs on the error, and then the two-run home run by McCovey, and followed immediately by a solo blast by Bonds. We've gone one, it's three-nothing Giants. The fans love it. And now we have a question from Kathy Harden. Lord help me, God. What does Popeye have tattoos on both arms? I, you know, I'm just gonna take a guess. It's such a typical guess, but 
I'm going to say those are anchors. If not, spinach. Spinach cans. I got it. I just had it visualized. It's a great one from Kathy Harden. I think that was a very common tattoo in their day. I could be wrong. Folks, we had a pretty exciting bottom of the first there. Two home runs. A two run by McCovey and then Bonds. And it was all with two outs. We've gone one, it's three nothing. We'll be back in just a minute here. Just trying to get myself uh, together here. Nothing Giants. We'll be back in just a minute. Candlestick Park here, Jeffrey Guterman. Having a bit of a tough time today with anxiety. I just took something. Hanging in there. Here's McCormick now for the second inning. Great question from Kathy Harden. Mm. Hope those that those glass tubes come in time for this ball game. Here's Orlando now. This game is far from over. Three nothing means nothing with these Braves bats. Here's McCormick on the mound. The big left-hander. He winds and deals. 
1-8 to Orlando. He popped him up to short. Lanier has it. One down. Now here's Cletus. With a very costly error. Could have been... Could have been three outs with uh, Willie Mays when he flew to left, but it was an error by Boyer at third. Okay, McCormick now. And the pitch to Boyer. Two... 12, left-handed, he flies it to right, and Bonds is there, two away. For Bob Tillman. We got a question, top of the fourth, folks. Got the yard in top of the fourth. Okay, here's McCormick now. The wind up and the pitch to Tillman. That's gonna be one six left-handed. Oh my, it's hit. Oh, that's a re-roll. Oh. -ho. It was only home run one to two. We'll get another chance at that. House rule. Shouldn't look. Three seven left-handed, chops it to second, Hunt has it and throws to McCovey, and it's a one, two, three, four, McCormick. We're in the middle of the second. Braves used a lot of pitchers in their last game. So did the Giants. I think the Braves had a, an extra inning game. Heading to the bottom of the second. It's going to be Ray Jarvis now. See if he can turn it around and settle down here. Jack Hyatt to lead it off. Six five right handed fly ball right field Aaron under it. One down. Now Hal Lanier, switch hitter, batting left. Ah, oh, here's Jarvis. Six six switch hitter. He walked him. So Lanier is on, and McCormick is a six NL. It was a six six right-handed switch hitter, batting left, and Lanier on first one down. Here's McCormick, a six NL. Whew. Jarvis from the stretch. That's going to be 4 5, left handed. He grounds it to short. This could be 2. Garrido, 318. Eight, three, G3 pound, no one being held. E18, two, three, four, and he throws him out with a runner on first. It's a clean G3, uh, he will advance. So Lanier goes to second on the ground ball out. It's two away, and Fuentes in a clutch situation here. Fuentes, he popped to first, 
to start off the, the bottom of the first. Clutch hit Chayashin. He's not a good clutch hitter, as you can see. If you know super advanced clutch rule. These would be converted to pop-outs right here, 2-5 and 2-6. Here's Jarvis now, trying to get out of this. And the pitch to Fuente. That's 3-4, right-handed, fly ball left field. It's a can of corn for Rico. And he's under it. Actually, 3-4, yeah, against the right-hander. He makes the catch and the side is retired. A lot of tension here in my stomach and here in Candlestick. We've gone two, it's three nothing ball game. It can really be tense, folks. And we'll be back with the top of the third in just a minute. This is the Stratomatic Sports Network. Okay, that Chillum is two stops away now. That Chillum is two stops away. And they aren't even Chillums. I'm gonna have to use a mesh. It's gonna be some American ingenuity here. And McCormick takes the mound now for the top of the third. McCormick taking his warm-ups here. He'll face Garrido, Jarvis, and Felipe. We have a question after this inning from Kathy Harden. Here's Gil Garrido now. Okay, McCormick is ready. Garrido steps in. Here's the windup from McCormick and the pitch to Garrido. That is 5'10", right-handed. He grounds it to short X. That's Lanier, 229. Thirteen two. it's a G1. He gets to it. Lanier, E29, 357, and he throws him out. Garrido is retired. Here's Pat Jarvis now. Whoa, I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh. McCormick, the sign from here. And the pitch to Garrido. That's going to be 4 7. Right handed, pops it up to short. And Lanier is there, two outs. Tell you, McCormick looking good. He let up a base hit to Felipe, and that's been just about it. Gave up that base hit to Felipe in the first.
Okay, Felipe steps in. Here's McCormick. That's two six left-handed, it's a base hit. Another single by Felipe. A two out single. That'll bring Felix up. And Gigi has arrived. Big series here. September 15, 1969. Replay, first of a two. Braves four and a half games ahead of the second place Giants. A sweep of this two gamer for the Giants can put them within two and a half. They need this one and the next one, and Marischal's pitching on September 16. Here's Felix now at the plate. McCormick and the pitch. That's going to be 1-4. He popped him up. Wait a minute. It's a ballpark slash, I'm sorry, against the left-hander. And that may not go through against the right-hander. No, it, it does not. It's a liner to short, caught by Lanier. So Lanier makes all three outs. He gets two put outs and an assist. No runs, one hit. Felipe left on base. A lot of tension here. A lot of freaking tension. I'm the next stop. My chillums are, they're really not chillums, they're glass. They are glass. Uh, blowing tubes. I am the next stop. Here's Pat Jarvis now, bottom of the third. Ron Hunt will lead it off. He reached on the error and scored on McCovey's two-run home run. Then Bonds followed up with a solo blast. It's 3 nothing. Here's Jarvis. The pitch to Hunt. That's 5-5 five, five right-handed, struck him out. And that's the first strikeout of the ball game for any team. Here's Mays now, flew to left. The wind up by Jarvis and the pitch to Mays. That is 2-5 right-handed, it's a base hit by Mays. A one-out single. He hit it to left. Cardi throws it in. You can feel the tension. And up comes McCovey here. Okay, Jarvis working from the stretch. And the pitch to stretch. Whoa, 1-7, it's hit well into the gap. Oh my. It's hit into right center for a double, Mays. Rounding third. That's gonna be Felipe minus one, Mays. Still has speed, one to 15. We're gonna freaking bring him home. Here's the throw from Felipe, and he's safe, and May slides in, oh, just like the young Say Hey kid, McCovey goes to third on the throw, his third run batted in, it's a 4 nothing ball game. Oh my, McCovey doubling May's home from first, let's look at it again, May's got a great jump on it. <laughs> it was 1-7, folks, and it was a double, and then 
the throw to the plate was a four. Meza still with a good speed here, one to 16. And minus one, one to 15 with Felipe. He wasn't thinking twice. He came home. Now McCovey on third has a chance to come home on a fly ball. Here's Bobby Bonds with one out. McCovey on third, four nothing Giants. Here's Jarvis now. The pitch to Bonds. That's 1-5, and he walked him. I was thinking of walking him intentionally anyway. Now they got a chance for the double play. Bonds on first, McCovey on third. Here's Ken Henderson. Jarvis getting hit here. Henderson switch hitter batting left against Jarvis now. The pitch to Henderson. That's three six right handed. He struck him out. That's two away. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, the Chillums have arrived. The Chillums have arrived, and I'll be opening this after Kathy's question. So it's two outs, first and third, it's Jack Heard now. Here's Jarvis. Lord, 2-6, right-handed struck him out. So he struck out the side, Jarvis did, but there was another run. <coughs> On two hits, the single by Mays and then doubled home by McCovey. We've gone three. <coughs> and it is a four to nothing ball game. Uh, get ready for it, everybody. This is what I This is what I wait for, folks. Here it is now. In what famous battle was General George Custer defeated? I think I know this. And I don't put it in until I read it, folks. Bull Run. The Battle of Bull Run. I could be wrong. I have been wrong so many times. Oh, Gigi says that's it, then it must be it. Whoa. That's reinforcement from Gigi now. No! Kathy Horton says no. Oh my, what is it? Oh my goodness, battle, Custer's last stand, battle of, Lord, oh, Kathy Harden, you have me questioning myself. Oh, Kathy Harden. Big horn. Bill Ivamy with Billy Horn, and we should have known Bill Ivamy. Bill Ivamy, whoa! A great one by Bill Ivamy there. I should have known Bull Bighorn. 
And it was a great question by Kathy Horton. We've gone three innings, it's four nothing Giants. Nothing to complain about if you're a Giants fan. You know, I could save one of these rubber bands. Shit. I think I'll save this rubber band here. supposed to come with five and they sent me seven six maybe it was six If you don't mind, folks, I'm going to try this out right now, and then we'll get right back to this ball game, Kathy. I hope you don't mind. It was a five-pack. They gave me six, Kathy. I've heard of that happening. Please, folks, leave the stigma at the door, please. I think I am going to try the mesh right away. Damn frickin' thing. Nothing works right for me.
nothing to frickin'. It's a very dumb. <laughs> It worked. Now let me. <laughs> let me try one without it. <laughs> yeah. Just put it right on the edge here, that's it. And then just light it. I don't even need one. Ugh. That fucking thing blew all the way into my mouth. I'll try it again. I do need that thing. Whatever. You know, life is so fucked up sometimes. Boy, that's hot. There. That works. You're sitting on the deck, Gudeman on the laptop, beer in your hand, glass cylinder in my hand. The, the mesh works. I'll need to get more of this. You get this from Home Depot. You don't need to buy screens. We give these a good cleaning every day here. It's not easy, I'll tell you. It's not freaking uh, easy. I should have known when I got them that I needed chillums with necks, little bottlenecks. I could get another one another set, but the ones I originally got were
That it worked. It's about the cleanest set I've had in a while. Here they are. Here's some very small ones. Lord, these are way too small. These are like, the cigarette filters is what they are. I'm having trouble finding these chillums. leave it at that. We'll continue to work with the uh, chillums are these glass things. This is not even a chillum. It's a glass. I keep forgetting the name of it. It's a glass. Uh, blowing tube. It's a glass tube is what it is. And uh, the problem is you usually have a little neck here to, to make sure the cannabis doesn't go through. And what I've created was a mesh uh, to hold. You see, that, that looks like that's in good. You see? That holds just fine. And that's what we would do. We put it right in there and smoke it. Now, here it candlestick, and it's a four nothing ball game. Very good crowd here coming out to this very important two game series. You can even use tin foil if you have to, and then poke a hole with a, um, I used to have a pin. You know, I don't even have a freaking pin anymore. I used to save my pins. You gotta have the right tools. taken out as a staple. A 
is actually from a supply. There's not much I have here, but if you make do with what you have, this is two staples. This would serve to be able to actually bend one end and I'll tell you what I need a pin that can There it goes. Uh, it's starting to split there. I see it. Oh, did I pull it back? Oh, Lord. We'll stay with the mesh. There we go. You know, so they say where there's a will, there's a way. That's what my mother used to always tell me here. go. Now, these could be served as two pens. And with aluminum foil over this thing, you could put aluminum eat quite easily and, and actually cup it down tightly. And then first, before you do that, you poke little holes in that aluminum foil. And I think this has got to work this is certainly tiny enough and hard enough to poke holes and if not I'll be a horse's ass now the key is can you save these okay can you save them reliably you don't want those to get missed special oh no Bill yeah thank you for the warning yeah I have a very special box where I put some of my most important items and I've never had an item this small we'll just place it quietly in here okay These are keys, I mean, that I don't even use anymore. I might as well throw them out. This I should throw out. Throw that out right now. Here, Bill, pencil. No rate, no, no sharpener though. I used to have a manual. I had a, I had, oh, look at this. What's this? The hell is this? There's a tool. I don't know what I'd use it for, but. Okay. But we have these, if we can still find them, there they are. So we'll know to find those if we have to.
if we have to That's an exacto knife, yeah. It's like a box cutter, isn't it? That's a pleasure box, Bill Ivamy. You got it exactly right. It's got my birth certificate, my expired passport. We're heading to the top of the fourth. Whoa. Well, you get what you pay for. Mike McCormick has been very effective thus far here today. I could still try to clean these out, you know, by boiling them. You'd be surprised. I have no alcohol. She has a pleasure box, yeah? All right. But I'll work on these chillums. I will not throw these out. I'll put them in my pleasure box too. It is a box that I am now keeping under my TV. My will, my last will and testament is the first thing when you walk in the apartment. Fix that when I get a chance. I'll put it right there, folks. I think I could probably coordinate my dice collection much better than it is. I've got all sorts of things of dice here, but that there, put this here, put the bands here, got a couple pens left, and we have pegs, which I have no use for. I might as well throw these out. Put this all over here. Put, keep the pens down here. Keep the we'll put these these other dice, which I don't use anymore, I because they're too large. I might use them for special occasions. Got all my Assortment of 20 dies, regular dies, most often used dies. And we've got the bands. We put the bands over here with the. And these are what you call your emergency pens. There's no need to keep these here. I'll put them in a closet, in a drawer in the kitchen. Put that in a drawer. Sure, just put that right here as needed. Those are that way you never get shut out completely. Uh, these things have to go. We'll just do this bottom drawer here. This shit is what you end up calling extra 
cords. I think it's part of it's an extension cord, it's an apple cord, and I think it's probably worth saving. Uh, and we'll I will very quietly just put these over here in a right there until they find a better spot. There's not much shit that I use there. That's a replay on pause has stats. Uh, we might just keep that there. And when we get a chance, we might look at them and I'll throw some of them out. And then you have down here, This can go. out here as important papers along with my budget, my old fish and one hand budget. So what we've done, and this I don't need, these are 2022 receipt, uh, hard copy. This is all electronic now, so that can go. We'll get rid of the pegs. And what we've done is at least we've cleaned up this bottom. And We can put this box of goodies right down here, and then that'll work all just fine. Now, hit made me very high so I think that maybe this technique might be good the mesh technique I think we'll just need an ample amount of mesh which shouldn't be hard it should be just a quick walk to Office Depot and they sell freaking mesh like that, as cheap as can be. I mean, let me look it up. Uh, Home Depot. Home Depot mesh, we'll get right back to the game. We just need to do a little housekeeping here. Home mesh. Here's galvanized mesh. Uh, Three quarter inch. I don't know how much you get. You get 27 inches. That's a lot of fucking inches. For 1053, that. That looks, that looks exactly like my mesh. A 
This is a mesh. It looks like pretty strong mesh. I don't know if that, I think that's a little thicker. Robust plaster base. Diamond mesh. I, well, I think I can go over there and check out what kind of mesh they have. You know, I might want to go for light mess, mesh. i to take care of basics. I'm trying to get everything in order, folks, including my will and that my son is taken care of. This is with light mesh. Oh, <laughs> let's go thin mesh. Shit, here we go. Here's a roll, but that's too thick. I need some, a, I don't, I don't want a porous mesh here. I'll tell you what I might do if I take another hit. Here's mesh. That looks pretty thin. Easily cut and altered. Yeah. But I think what we'll have to do is just go over to the store. Uh, I don't know why my store is... Change my store here. The Home Depot. Here it is. It's a mile away. You can shop this store. Here's mesh. I'll have to see what kind of mesh they have. Easily cut and altered. Different sized mesh openings. Beautiful. Uh, so we'll pay a visit there to the East Fort Lauderdale store. And we'll be in the market here for mesh. Now, the key here will be a religious cleaning of this goddamn chillum every day with soap and water, or else you're, you're going to not, uh, yeah. Well, I guess I, for, for multiple reasons, I like to just sort of do sort of a do-it-yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? And I hope you're okay with that. Phil, uh, I'm pretty sure you will be. Hey, everybody, welcome to Studio B. Look at me. We are in Candlestick Park, a uh, considered to be a uh, a shitty park. Pot laws in Florida, Bill, is it is a we have medical weed, and as long as you have your medical license uh, active, you're allowed to smoke weed. And uh, I used to be on medical weed. Now I've gotten off it, and I'm getting it better on the street. And uh, it's a misdemeanor. If you get caught, they're gonna fine you $150. Uh, you know, first offense, they might just confiscate it. It is such a minor thing. Uh, it's wide open where you are, yeah. I know, I heard about that. Where is that again? Are you in New York? You're in New York. You know, I envy you if you're in New York. But let's be careful what we wish for. Yeah, I heard about that. Well, we're gonna head to the top of the fourth. Oh boy, McCormick will have to face Aaron, Cardi, and Cepeda here.
McCormick a little late coming out. Here he goes. Comes to the mound. Taking his warm-ups. Canada, of course, that's right, Bill. Why do I keep, I should know that by now. I know that very well. It's just I was on a mental block there. Mike McCormick will face Aaron here. For nothing, but don't count these Braves out. And I'll tell you, if the Braves win, I, I've said this, I think, a lot of times. I'm done with the Giants. The Giants are the only team I have a strong desire for them to win if the Pittsburgh win I can I can jump on that band horn anytime oh is she in New York again or oh you sing in general yeah okay here's McCormick and the pitch to Aaron that's four seven right handed he pops it up to short he couldn't get a good swing on it Lanier is there, and boy, Lanier's had a, uh, uh, his share of chances today. Five putouts and an assist. And we're only in the fourth. Here comes Rico now. McCormick, 3-4 left-handed, chops it to second, and Hunt fields it on one hop, throws it over to McCovey, two outs. Giants have been playing good baseball this year. They've won 83, lost 63. They have a chance to win over 90 games if they can uh, just follow their how their record's going. Okay, Orlando. On the other hand, Atlanta is on record to go for 95 if they can handle it. Uh, 130, 147. They got 15 games. They can, they can win 95 games. Not too hard at all if they, and maybe more. And here's the pitch to Orlando. So you see how important this is. Three seven right, uh, left-handed, and that is a base hit by Orlando. A two-out single. Orlando not being held. He's a 1 to 13. And here comes Cletus now. Cletus made that ungodly error in the first on the ground ball by Hunt. And that led on to two back-to-back uh, -back -back home runs, a two-run job <laughs> and bonds, if you want to say it led to it, because yeah, it, you know, if it, things might have turned out different had he gotten out, who knows? Okay, here's McCormick now. You just don't know. 
And the pitch to Boyer, 110 left-handed, hits it back to McCormick, and he fields it to McCovey, and the side is retired. No runs, one hit, and one left on. We get that question from you, Kathy, the top of the fourth. Oh, Lord. I think we did. It was Custer, wasn't it? It had to be Custer, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Here's Jarvis now. Four nothing. This could be his last inning. We'll see how he fares. Okay, here's Jarvis now, bottom of the fourth. It'll be Lanier, McCormick, and Fuentes. Here's Jarvis. Here's the pitch to Lanier. Two ten right handed grounds it to short for Garrido, one out. And here's McCormick. Six N R. Six N L, I'm sorry. Your madness, Kathy. Pure frickin' madness. Announcing his vice presidential running mate and trying to get on ballots. Lifetime is the only independent that actually won states. Was Wallace in '68? The Dixiecrats had a, had a, I think, got a couple states in '48, but with with Strom Thurmond. But the, uh, any independent has not won a single state. They've taken away from popular votes, uh, but this man, I don't even want to begin to analyze this man. And Dave Little has arrived. Dave Little, I'm a little bit foggy to, uh, this afternoon, a little bit tired. So I'm not at my best, It's but this is as big a game as you can get, Dave Little. Big series, the first place Braves in San Francisco with the Giants four and one half behind there in second. 
It's a two-game series. If they if they sweep it, they'll they're renewed with only a two and a half game deficit. They got off to a nice start here, four nothing, and Marischal pitched the second pitches in the second game on September 16th. So this is a big series, big game. Here's McCormick now, one out, nobody on. That's three, uh, seven, and he struck him out. And that's for Jar Jarvis. Jarvis, the misfortune of the error by Cletus Boyer in the first to have then McCovey with two outs knock in a two-run home run only to have then Bonds do a back-to-back. -back. Three runs, scored, scored another run in the third on uh, a single by Mays and then McCovey brought him home from first. Mays was hustling home <laughs> and he beat out the throw from Felipe. Uh, beautiful to see. It's a nice slide into home plate. And it's a 4 nothing ball game. That's where we stand. Two outs, Fuentes at the plate. He's 0 for 2. Here's Jarvis. And that's 6-6. Six, six. Switch hitter batting left. He walked him. So Fuentes is on. You know, I think Fuentes had some real good seasons in the early 70s. Uh, I really do. I remember having the cards. And uh, so Fuentes on first, no outs. Here's Hunt now. See if I can time this nicely. Hunt at the plate. A bunter, he'll, he'll be a B now. The pitch from Jarvis, oh, he lays it down. Get that going nicely with smooth motion. Six, eight, 10, uh, he'll be a B, he pops it. To Jarvis. Oh, I, I was doing something pretty stupid anyway. Uh, that was an error. Uh, Bill has one mid-fifth. That was a, a, a real boner by me. And it happens, folks, as long, as long as we recognize it and learn from it. I did a sacrifice with two outs. <laughs> Oh, I told you, it's, I'm a little foggy today, uh, but that's going to be the inning. I think no big issue there. Uh, no balls, <laughs> no runs, a walk. There was some balls, and one left on. We've gone four is four nothing. We got a question mid-fifth from uh, the big man. Bill Ivamy. Well, here's McCormick, top of the fifth. Shit like that can happen, you know. I once did a sacrifice. The other day I did a sacrifice, tried to do a sacrifice with a runner on third. It turned out it had to be a suicide squeeze. And uh, he was out stealing home. He swung on it and missed the batter. And... Uh, <laughs> That's what happens. I mean, it can happen, folks. Let's not take it too seriously. Here's Tillman now, and it's all built in. It's all frickin', as far as my philosophy goes, it's a fantasy game anyway. Here's Tillman facing McCormick. McCormick, no runs, three hits in four innings, has not walked a batter. Here's the pitch to Tillman. We, they need something from McCormick today. Four, five right-handed, flies it to right, and there's Bonds. Under it for the out, one away. Now Gil Garrido.
Jarvis comes out on deck, they're staying with him. His endurance is seven. Here's the pitch from McCormick. That's gonna be two seven left-handed, chops it to short for Lanier. Two outs, and Jarvis will come up with two outs. With the Braves down three nothing, a very pleasant, but a very, very quiet, intense uh, mood here at Candlestick Park in San Francisco. Of course, I guess it all depends on your attitude. It doesn't have to be tense, does it? Does it, Kathy? Okay, here's Jarvis now. Two outs, nobody on. I'll tell you, it's a lovely, lovely ball game thus far for Giant fans. And anybody who wants to see a good race, it could be a tall order, four and a half out. Uh, but I'll tell you, the sweep, you, you like, uh, are you talking about ballparks in general, Dave Little, or... Candlestick. Any ballpark. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and I'll tell you, Dave, I'm not sure where you're from. I think you're in Ohio. I could be wrong because I think you're a Reds fan, but Fenway, to me, was the best place to watch a ball game as far as being able to really and a lot of times I could move up, I'm telling you. And even if I were in the upper box seats, the, the still very close. You didn't pick Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, that's pretty nuts, Kathy Harden. That's pretty nuts. He picked a, an executive. A tech executive who was formerly married to one of the owners of Google. Uh, you're an Ohio native and a Reds fan, but you're living in Madison. Okay. I don't know how far Madison is from uh, the Frank Lloyd, uh, in particular his his place, Taliban or Tala something you ever get a chance to live there uh, go visit that the uh, lloyd wright uh structure well here's jarvis now with two outs mccormick now and the pitch to jarvis three six and he hits it to short for lanier <laughs> Over to Stretch McCovey again. Great infield. Uh, a 1 2 3 inning for McCormick. Granted, it was the bottom third. We're heading to the bottom of the fifth here. And uh, had some sort of name T A T A S T A S L something. Uh, Frank Lloyd Wright, the great architect of who had that structure in Wisconsin. I think that was his home. 
Uh, we're heading to the bottom of the fifth. Now Jarvis is first, Endurance is the seventh, so they're keeping him in. McCormick's is also. Tallison. Yeah, you ever visit that? Ever visit that? And how is it? <laughs> Can you go inside? Okay. Yeah. I wonder if you can go inside. Even if not the outside. It is a, an important... Uh, there are Frank Lloyd uh, buildings all over the world still. Many residences, I don't know about many, but there are, there are residences and uh, they are very hard to buy. Even if you want to, you know, pay the money, they're very hard to buy. And there's a story about a couple who was amidst the divorce and because of the litigation over who gets the house, the Frank Lloyd Wright house, they decided not to get divorced. Now, they said they slept in separate bedrooms, but that tells me a lot about <laughs> the love. And he pushed the envelope back architecturally. I mean, sometimes things would go wrong in the building. You know, leaks and this and that, because it was, he pushed the envelope to try to make things. And he, he his whole idea was integrating structures into nature. Those are the way that a lot of the houses that built right into the mountains, uh, right into the ground, uh, so that they're considered, it's really something. Uh, and he was a bit charlatan also. Uh, Jarvis taking his warm ups. he, you know, he was uh, a showman, a, a great self promoter. Okay, we're heading to the bottom of the fifth. It's Mays now. Now Mays has participated here today uh, with a base hit and scored. He, he came home all the way from first on that uh, double by McCovey. Really shows he still has speed here. He was a one to 16. Frank Lloyd Wright Design Convention Center. Oh. Oh, that's pretty wild. So he really designed the convention center that, and they, they keep it all these years. You know how today they go for these, these ultra modern convention centers and uh, just the idea. Let me check out the convention center if you don't mind. Check it out for myself here in Madison, Wisconsin. That must be really cool. I wonder if it's called the Monona Terrace Community and Convention Center. Oh my Lord, it's modern. Oh yeah, it's one of his modern pieces. Oh my God. You know, he did the Guggenheim, for Christ's sakes. Yeah. Oh, my. Is that beautiful? Lord. You see? And, yeah, he was not just about the integration into nature. He was also, uh, I don't know what you would call it. I would call it ultra-modern. Uh, oh, it's just a beautiful, you know, he did the book of the Guggenheim, which is to me a, a, an icon of uh, architecture, modern architecture. Just absolutely, he had the vision and then they constructed it. They got engineers and architects to figure out how to make it. He was just a visionary, folks. I want to tell you that. 
and visionaries are important, you know. <laughs> Without a vision, you don't have anything. I mean, I knew he knew a little bit, you know, he knew he knew much about architecture, but, but a lot of the real engineering and actual blueprints for his work were done by his employees. That is a beauty. It's absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. It's clean. It's got nice curves. The color is beautiful. The neutral. Love it. Thanks for telling me about that. I didn't know that he designed that. That's really something. Well, May's leading it off here. Get myself back situated here. And Jarvis in his sixth, uh, fifth inning here. He's allowed four runs. Okay, May steps in. Mat Monona Terrace, beautiful. Here's Jarvis now, the pitch to Mays. That's three seven and he walked him. He walked the incomparable Incomparable Willie Mays, he's a C. He will not be held. Makes him a one to 13. Here's McCovey now. Giants lead it for nothing. Big, big game here, folks. It's just going, it's almost like surreal. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like a surreal response to life when you're playing a game this big. McCovey, two for two. Two-run blast, a one-run double. The pitch to McCovey, two nine, and that time he struck him out. Fifth for, for Jarvis, and he seems to be have settled down a bit here, striking batters out. He has walked a couple batters, walked a few along the way. It's Bobby Bonds now, who had the home run, and he walked left on. Jarvis, the wind up, uh, actually from the stretch and the pitch to Bonds. That's gonna be 112, and that is a fly ball to left field for Cardi, and Rico is under it. Two outs, it was hit high. And Cardi got right onto that. Almost felt like forever before it came down and there's two away, here's Henderson now. Two outs, it's with Mays on first. Henderson switch hitter, Jarvis. That's 6-9, switch hitter batting left, he popped it up. On a 6-9 left-handed, and Felix under it, he makes the catch. So the side is out, no runs. The leadoff walk to Mays, left on base. We've gone five, and I don't know, folks, it's tense here for me. It's very, very tense. Yes, yeah, so. And we could go into the history of that, go into the history of the Tallison, I don't know what you would call it, a mistake, uh, a state complex, whatever. There's history, not only the development of it, but things that happened there. We head to the top of the sixth and it's McCormick who is shutting out the Braves. It's uh, not an easy thing to do. Felipe though, two for two, he's singled twice on him. He's only allowed three hits McCormick in five innings. No walks, no strikeouts. And here is where you have to keep the Braves in check. 
Oh, we have a question. Oh, yeah, middle of the fifth. Wasn't that Bill Ivamy? I am so sorry, Bill. You want to take it uh, top of the sixth? You want to take it now or you want to go the middle? Didn't I miss your question? Bill, you want to go for it now? We'll do full highlight or we'll go middle of the sixth. Have something to look forward to. We'll go middle of the sixth. I am so sorry that I overlooked that. And you know I'm multitasking. I'm trying to do it all. We're a low budget program here. And we... Of course, we hate to make this error. And we'll have Big Bill coming in middle of the sixth with the guy who's got the answers. He's going to ask a question. And that will be after this half inning. Here's Felipe now, two for two, McCormick. Oh, okay. Oh, it might be a two-parter. You take your sweet-ass time. Just give me a, a moment, Bill to set my ambiance, you know what I'm saying? Just give me a moment, you know, that's, and you do a good job of that, and you, you do a job, good job of dropping them. We want to highlight it nicely for you. Here's Felipe at the plate. Pitch from McCormick, 5-5 five, five right-handed, and it's popped up high and playable by Mays. And he makes the catch one away. So Mays, Felipe finally retired. This was on a fly ball. And here's Felix now. Sacrifice bunt and pop two short. Here's McCormick. The pitch to me on 310 left handed, and he hit him. Oh my, he hit him. He's going to be okay. He hit him actually in the, uh, the bicep, his left bicep, it looked like. It is a 310 left handed. And so Mian will take. First, and that could be an ominous sign if you're superstitious. McCormick hits me on. One to 13 stealing not being held. Because Aaron can bring him right back in this ball game. And so could Cardi and so could Cepeda. So you got, you know, you got lots of trouble here. Okay, here's Aaron now, 0 for 2. He's popped a short twice. McCormick from the stretch. The pitch to Aaron. Uh, that's going to be a 4-9 right-handed. Oh, it's hit deep by Henry. To left, going back is Henderson, and he catches up with it right before the warning track for a long fly ball by Henry. It was a 4-9 right-handed. <laughs> and home run, 1-10, it was an 18. You know, you got to incorporate the Stratomatic stuff into the play-by-play -play as if to sort of visualize what that would be. Uh, so it's two outs with Felix on first. I mean, I think Stratomatic is 1% inspiration and 99% imagination. I've adap I, did, I adapted that from Thomas Edison, who said genius is 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. Just a metaphor. He doesn't mean it literally. Sometimes uh, you can perspire trying to crystallize inspiration. Uh, here's Cardi now with two outs and Felix on first. The pitch from McCormick. That's going to be 4-5 right-handed. Fly ball, another fly ball to right. And this one's for Bonds. And uh, he, McCormick gets out of that once again. 
No runs, no hits. He did hit me on. And he was left on base. We have gone, whoa, five and a half in this ball game. And we're going to have the live of me lay it on us. Lay it on us good, will you? This might be a two-parter, folks. In the 1962 movie Experiment in Terror, the climatic scene involved McCormick and Drysdale pitching a candlestick. The movie revolved around a kidnapped teenage girl named the actress who played her. Whoa. I think I got it, baby. Is that a beauty for me? Bill Ivamy, tell me it's a beauty. Oh, it's not wood. Oh, shit. It was not wood. Bob Wagner. Robert Wagner. Uh, Lord. Ben Bill Holden. You know, I wouldn't know. I just wouldn't know shit like that. I'm not sure what it is, Bill. from uncle oh no 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 not stephanie powers it's the girl from uncle what was her name 99 i can't remember her name my mind is not what it used to be i want to tell you all oh maybe no not not the girl from uncle i'm thinking of uh, get smart maybe it was stephanie powers Bill Ivamy says Stephanie Powers. I think we're gonna have a, a, a Harden Ivamy solution. Oh Lord. An Ivamy. And Bill Ivamy said. Yeah, Bill Ivamy gave the answer. Stephanie Powers and Kathy Harden got it. Okay. Got it, Bill. Uh, great question. You're, you're telling me, though, that two baseball players were in that movie? Experiment in Terror. Let me see if it's free on YouTube. As you all know, I'm very cheap. Here it is. Oh, it is the trailer. Henry Mancini did the music. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the... Uh, Whole thing here. No. Some you do, some you don't. Oh, here, here it is, free with ads. Oh yeah, here it is. 
free with ads. I like watching old movies. Here it is. Two hours and three minutes. Yeah. Okay, I have it in my history. I will follow it. Yeah. Cepeda was the first baseman. Holy cow. We're heading to, thanks a lot, Bill, for that. Give me something to watch. I like old movies. Bottom of the six, Pat Jarvis. I mean, we used to think old movies as movies from the 30s, the 40s. You know, now it's the 50s, the 60s, and the 70s. Well, big test here, I say, for Ray Jarvis, who has pitched five innings. He has ostensibly settled down. Uh, but he allowed four runs thus far. And the Braves have, yeah, but this is a 62 film, isn't it, Bill? You said it's a 62 film. He wasn't great, was he yet? I mean, he was on his way. He had an incredible year in 67. I'd have to check his stats. I guess Drysdale was already, uh... and so they were built into the plot. Okay. They were built into the frickin' plot. And we're in Studio B, and uh, we'll see Jarvis if he can continue to hold the... Giants, as he has the last couple innings after allowing four and keep them in this ball game. Uh, and it's going to be Jack Hyatt leading it off. It'll be the bottom third of the order here. Good crowd here at Candlestick. Here's Jack Hyatt now. Oh! Oh, my game, Bill Ivamy. Look how slow I am again. Since McCormick is pitching great, figured it fit in the game. Absolutely. Yeah, yo, you're damn right. I'm glad you reminded me of that. Really? I had not even thought of connected it, <laughs> you know? Okay, here's he is, 0 for 2. Here's the pitch from Jarvis. And that's 3-8, right-handed, and he walked him. Again, Jarvis's first endurance will be next inning. If he makes it that far, it was a 3-8 right-handed. And here comes Lanier. McCormick is 6NL. It's inviting for Lanier to lay one down. Infield is in. He'll be a B now. Uh, McCormick will be a B because he's laying it down. Lanier is an A. He'll, he'll be a B now. He hits it to third. Uh, I'm sorry, hits it to first, 11. Oh my, he popped it up. And under it is Cepeda for the out. Not sure beats a double play, is what I always say. Here's McCormick now. It's uh, Pat Jarvis. I am so sorry. Yeah. Oh, we have a double here coming up. 
in the seventh. I have a I have a beautiful double here. It is Pat Jarvis for sure. There's the Ray Jarvis. I forgot what team he's on. He's in this league. Ray Jarvis is in this league. And here's McCormick, a 6N or no slouch. He hit on first one down. That's one nine, and he walked him. He's a six, and it's first and second, Jarvis. Back to the top of the order, Fuentes action in the Giants bullpen. And because of how stretched a lot of these pitches are, we, will, we don't take the time to tell you who's warming until it's time to bring them in. But someone is warming, I can guarantee you. First and second one out, because I have to look things up. Here's Fuente, switch hitter, batting left. And that 6-9, switch hitter, batting left, pops it to second. And Felix under it two away. So Jarvis trying to get out of this now. Here's Ron Hunt. Hunt over three. Okay, here's Jarvis now. And the pitch. This is a clutch situation for Hunt. And that's 4-8 right-handed. He walks the bases loaded here. And here comes Willie Mays. Action in the bullpen, even though his first endurance is next inning, he has walked the bases loaded. They're gonna stay with him and see if he can get out of this with two outs. Mays on first, McCormick on second, he is on third. Here's Jarvis now. Two eight right-handed. No one being held, grounds to second, and the side is retired. A little chipper to Felix, and he threw him out. And he gets out of it, Jarvis. And he's not even in his first endurance inning. He left the bases loaded. We've gone six, it's four nothing. McCormick now. He'll face Orlando, Cletus, and Tillman. Two eight left-handed. He lines it to first, caught by McCovey. One out. I'm telling you. Two eight left-handed. McCormick really pitching well. Three hits, no runs. He did hit a batter, hasn't walked anybody, nor has he struck anyone out. Here's Boyer 0 for 2. The pitch from McCormick, that's 4 11, right handed. Oh my, Cletus hitting it deep. On a 4 11, he's got the power, and it's gone. Cletus Boyer has just hit a home run over the left center field wall. He got a good hold of that. Makes up a little bit for his error, which contributed to three runs in the first. Cletus, look at that again, 4-11 right-handed. 
and home run. Oh, wait a minute, it's a ballpark effect. Oh my, but it's a three. Oh, look how I misread that right-hander in San Fran. One to three, it is, uh, it is gone. Oh, almost misread that, but we, it didn't matter. It was gone anyway. And Boyer always had some nice power. I think he hit about 20 home runs for the 61 Yanks, give or take. He always was able to club one out every once in a while. For Cletus, that's number 12. He had 14. It's now 4-1, here's Tillman. And this is McCormick's first endurance inning. Here's McCormick now. Three seven left-handed, grounds it to second for Hunt, two outs. And Gil Garrido is the batter. Three nine left-handed chops it to second. Hunt again to McCovey, and the side is retired. But it was one run, one bad pitch to Cletus Boyer. His thirty, his his. Uh, oh, I forgot to write it in. Doesn't matter. It's already in. Um, number twelve. And we're in the middle of the seventh inning. We have a double shot from Kathy Harden. It's 4-1 in a very pleasurable ball game. I would say it's very pleasurable. Wait for it now. Just in time for the double shot. We know tree rings tell the age of trees, but the rings also tell us something else. Hmm. Oh, Bill Ivamy with the weather there. Whoa. Good answer. Bill Ivamy, a repository. And can you be more specific? Rain, rainfall. Rainfall by year. We're asking for, it's, it's very rare, Kathy Harden, asking for more specificity here. Moisture. Knurps of moisture. A uh, rain. Annual rain. I'm going to 
say it's a, it's a, I fed off of you. Drought. I fed off of you, Bill, with the weather. She wanted more specificity. I'm going with rain. And it has something to do by how thin or thick the ring is, you can find out the extent of rain fall or droughts or other things. So that's pretty fascinating, Kathy Harden. Now remember folks, this is a double. This is a frickin' double here tonight. Now we got another one coming, I believe. I think we got more coming here. Wait for it. It's going to be a double, folks. Isn't it, Kathy? It's a double shot. This British director most often appeared in his own movies. Of course, it's Hitchcock. And I missed that one completely. I know it was Hitchcock. You were very quick, Bill. Bill, you do them as quick as you want. That's the thing, I'm on a handicap here. I read them and only then do I type them. And not only that, I crouch over in a, a cause it's just not appropriate to try to, uh, you know, if you see where that is, that's not, that's not a good place for me to be trying to get those in and that's because uh, I don't want to well Dave Little you sure do know a bit about Frank Lloyd Wright and I think you you know a little, a little more about him than a lot of people if you know Talisan if you know of it if you know of uh, oh, you can do the uh, Monty Python, so you're, you're fine. You're fine. And you can also get the convention center designed by him, which is a beauty. I think you're being modest, and yeah, if you can recite Monty Python and the Holy Grail line by line, you're going to be uh, right there with us. Uh, we're not hyper competitive, though. We have fun. It's going to be Mike Mc, uh, Mike Mc, um, Pat Jarvis, and it's really time to tell if Jarvis will be able to stay here and continue pitching baseball. He has managed to. Uh, do very well in the middle innings, but he did allow the four runs. Three in the first, one in the third. It's McCovey to lead it off. This is Jarvis's first endurance inning now. He leads off in the eighth, which I imagine they'll hit for him if he gets through this inning. Otherwise, it'll be whoever. Here's the pitch to McCovey. That's 3-4, and he lines it to second, caught by Mian. It was hit hard. And here's Bobby Bonds.
right, here's Bonds now. One for two, had the back-to-back -back home run after McCovey. Walked, flew to left. And that's going to be a three, six right-handed. And that's going to be a liner to third court by Cepeda. That was hit hard. Two down. And here's Ken Henderson. We'll have to say Jarvis. Kept them somewhat in this ball game after allowing four. Here's Henderson with two outs. Henderson 0 for 3. And that's 5 3 switch hitter batting left. It's tapped back to Jarvis. He's a 3 0. That's going to be 4 7 8 on a 3. He gets to it, G3-0. So that will be a um, G3 with two outs. He throws him out. So Jarvis gets out of that. And we're heading to the eighth here. This is it, Braves. They'll have a hitter for Jarvis now. There will be a hitter for Jarvis, the loser of record. He pitched seven. He did walk seven. Struck out five allowed. One earned, three unearned, and we'll find out who's coming in. Is going to be a hitter. The Braves are used to winning. Oh, yeah. Send me your email demos. Mine is Jay Guterman. Oh, thank you, demos. My email is jguterman at gmail.com. So just take that Jay Guterman, one T in Guterman, jguterman at e, uh, e, uh, gmail.com. Propose a date and time, and I will, cr I will set it up. I will set it up. And if you want to give me a nice face shot of you, it's only if you want to. If you don't, don't worry about it. You could attach a nice face shot, and we will post that as coming up. Thank you. Oh, you have AOL email. Okay, it's, mine's jguterman at gmail.com. Okay? I didn't put the whole thing. I don't know if it's a great idea to put the whole thing. Let's see who's sitting here. It's McCormick in his second endurance inning. This game is far from over. Aspromonte pitched in this game in real world. I think this might be fitting for Aspromonte to pinch hit here. The right-hander against the left-handed pitcher. Right-handed hitter Aspromonte. Um, and it's a 4-1 game. Giants won it 4-1 in real world. You can never tell when things like that will happen. Here's Aspromonte. Not that, that that's just a coincidence. It's just random to, that that would happen. Here's Aspromonte to lead it off. Yeah, that's exciting now. Now I got something to look forward to. Uh, you have a prodigy. E email address. I'm going to look for that email from Demos. And if you want, just attach. Send me an email. I haven't gotten anything yet from you, but send me an email just to say hi. Uh, if you want, you can give me your email. Uh, demos. 
Yeah, you could just give me the username and then, well, I guess you'd have to put the whole thing. I don't think anyone really is going to trouble you with it. Here's Esperamante, but the if you want security, you can just email me at jguderman at gmail.com. Okay, here's McCormick facing Esperamante, pinch hitting for Jarvis and the pitch. That's going to be 3-8 left-handed, and he flies it to left for Henderson. One down, so, you know, we've been through the Giants' trials, tribulations, ups and downs, and it hasn't been fun, but, you know, with them being, look at this, now four and a half games out, but winning this first game of a two-game is a welcome change, and the good pitching, the great pitching by McCormick. Here's Felipe now, two for three. The pitch from McCormick. That is one eight left-handed and that's hit well. Oh my, by Felipe, oh it's gone. Oh, Felipe has hit a home run. Off Mike McCormick, my goodness. One eight, one to six on his card. No nothing, no ballpark. And it was a six, a one-eight left-handed. And boy, has it gotten quiet here in Candlestick, but it is still only four to two. A home run by Felipe. Lord, this, this stuff, oh, email sent. You know, I hope it's not in my spam. You know, sometimes that happens. I don't see it, sir. Oh, Lord help me. I hate this when this happens. How do I check my spam? Uh, Email has not been received. Uh, I'm looking. Not lo not finding anything. Here's spam. Nope. Oh, there it is. There it is. Got it, David. Let me let me email this to you right now, if you don't mind. Got you, Dave. And I'm gonna just show it, it was not, uh, and you know, if he, here's what I sent to him, it was not private. Send me any day, date, and any time, and I will set up. It's that simple, and he'll get the link. I'll send it to him by email, I'll send it to him. Uh, it'll be on the, on the broadcast which will be set up in advance uh, with a uh, in the live text and in the description. And then it'll be re reposted on the live text at the time of the event, because sometimes that first one goes away. You got it, babe. And take your time. I know you have a schedule, you have a life. And so you take your time. I don't care if it's a, uh, this weekend, next weekend, or what? 
You take your time when it's going to be comfortable, and then if you have to cancel, we'll cancel, and then we'll redo it. So it's all good. Okay, Felipe with the home run. It's 4-2 now. There's action in the Giants' bullpen. And here's Felix coming up here. And it's much appreciated, but I think you're going to do a great service to people like me, blockheads like me who just can't get it. Super advanced stealing, folks. It's a very specific. He's going to go, he's going to walk me, talk me through it. Here's McCormick, the pitch to me on. That's going to be 3-9 left-handed, and it's hit back to McCormick. He fields it. Throws to McCovey, two down. So McCormick has allowed a couple home runs, one to Cletus in the seventh, and then here, Felipe in the eighth. And it's a 4-2 ball game. Here's Aaron now. <laughs> He's a dangerous character. McCormick now, the pitch to Aaron. 3-4, he walked him. Uh, no, he grounds it to second. I'm so sorry. Hunt has it and throws him out. Oh, so... The side is retired. It's one run on the home run by Felipe. Braves just gnawing away. They are two down now, middle of the eighth, and there's going to be a new pitcher here for Atlanta. And you know Atlanta wants to win this. They do not want to be... They, they're serious about... about Uh, it's going to be Gary Niebauer, who is sufficiently rested. No need to bring Upshaw in. Down to two, down by two. Uh, here's Niebauer coming in. There'll be a slight delay in the action here. He's coming in from the bullpen. On a beautiful... Afternoon here on the city, uh-oh, city by the bay. Lee Bauer now. Taking his warm-ups here. Good crowd out here at Candlestick. He'll face the bottom third of this order. If you're looking ahead to the ninth, it'll be Cardi, Cepeda, and Boyer. And it's Kathy Harden for the Giants. Well, nothing wrong with a little insurance here. Jack Heat leads it off. Niebauer on the mound. Here's the pitch to Heat. That's 6-10, right-handed. He grounds it to short for Garrido, one out. And here's Hal Lanier. Lanier, 0 for 2 and a walk. Niebauer winds and deals. That's going to be a 2-11 right-handed. He hits it to first for Orlando. He takes it to the bag, two away. And a nice hand now. Get ready for a nice big hand for Mike McCormick, who is the winner of record. A nice big hand for big Mike McCormick. There he comes, right up to the plate. <laughs> 
So McCormick steps in, it's two outs, nobody on. Niebauer, remember he's a six NL. There's your pitch, five nine, and he's a six NL and it's, go it's gone. Oh, McCormick has hit a home run here. Oh, the crowd is going nuts here. Oh my, oh my. Oh, 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 that didn't quite go the way I wanted to. Oh, it has really, this has really flopped. I told you we're low budget here, folks. We, we are as low budget as you can go. Uh, we are as low budget as you can go, but that was McCormick. I told you he's a six frickin' NL. Oh, my God. There it is again. A five, nine, Left-handed, off Niebauer. Look at that, clean as a baby's ass there. <laughs> and he's got the end power. I'll prove it to you right here. There it is, end power. So he must have hit something in real world. And this is very realistic. Lord. That'll make it a five to two ball game. I don't keep pitcher records for home runs. crowd is going nuts. This crowd is going absolutely nuts. It's going to be Tito Fuentes. So the Giants really came to play today. And I'm really glad about this ball game. <sighs> Helping his own cause indeed. And uh, he's an NL. Uh, he's a 6N, so, you know, this is not unrealistic. Here's Fuentes now, two outs, nobody on. It is a 5-2 to two game. Here's Niebauer. That's going to be 3-8 right-handed. He grounds it to first, and Cepeda takes it, and we're heading to the ninth. So the Giants on the verge. Crazier things have happened, though. We've gone eight. It is five, two. Giants, and when they win this one, if they do, no time for celebrating at this stage. They need to win, and they'll have Marischal on the 16th. Facing Big Ron Reed. Well, here's McCormick. He's gone all the way. Full endurance, and he'll face Cardi, Cepeda, and Boyer. 
the Braves down by three. Fouled back and out of play. Lucky fan got a nice ball. A very nice mood here in Candlestick. Okay, here's McCormick. And the pitch to Cardi. That's going to be 6 7, right handed. He walked him. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> now, they need a lot of runs, so I'm not really worried about running for Cardi here. They need three runs, so we'll let him just tag along on a home run or a whatever it is. Here's Orlando now. Again, McCormick full endurance. Cepeda one for three. McCormick from the stretch. That's going to be 5-7 right-handed. Grounds it to second X. That's for Hunt. Hunt. 2-18. Whoa, it's going to be a 2-2 S1 base hit. Oh, my. It's going through. For a 12, uh, Hunt and E18. Oh, wait, I was looking on the pitcher. I'm so sorry. It's still a base hit. It's a 2-2 base hit. We know that with the algorithm. And uh, with Hunt, a um, E18 for a 12, uh, it goes through on an S1. And so Cardi will go to second. You may want to run for Cardi there, but... I don't know, I just, if any of you want me to run for Cardi, I'll gladly do so, but we need him to stroll in. We don't need him to be racing home for any kind of run here. Down by three. I want the Giants, but I try for both frickin' teams. Now here's Cletus, he can tie it up with another one. He hit a solo home run, his 12th of the year in the 7th. It's McCormick. And McCormick, this action in the Giants' bullpen. McCormick, one hit and or walk away from fatigue. The pitch to Boyer now. That's 6-10, right-handed. That's a ballpark slash. Right-handed. Oh, and it's a liner to short, caught by Lanier. Oh, what a pretty catch by Lanier. Let's look at that again. Oh, oh, oh. look at that. Let's, Bill, let's catch that again here. It was a 6-10 right-handed ball. Wait a minute. 6-10 right-handed ground ball first, A. Oh, God, that, I, I misread that as an 11, didn't I? 6'11", 6'10", I'm sorry, 6'10". I don't know where I got a ballpark slash right-hander. This is going to be a instant replay. Oh, my, I am so sorry, everybody. I am so sorry. This is as important as ever. Could be the whole freaking game. We're going to go instant replay, see where I went wrong. Lord, this game is, uh, that's going to be 6-7 right hand. It's going through. That's Orlando's base hit. 12 uh, Hunt and E18. 
Oh, wait, I was looking on the picture. I'm so sorry. It's still a base hit. It's a 2-2 base hit. We know that with the algorithm. And uh, with Hunt, a um, E18 for a 12. We're on replay. Uh, it goes through on an S1. And so Cardi will go to second. You may want to run for Cardi there, but... Now we... I don't know, I just... We want to watch. We want to watch Boyer again. To stroll in. We don't need him to be racing. We're looking for the play on Boyer. This is not a. Down by three. I want the Giants, but I try for both freaking teams. Now here's Cletus. He can tie it up with another one. He hit a solo home run, his twelfth of the year in the seventh. I don't know. How I misread and that. His action in the Giants bullpen. McCormick one hit under a walk away from fatigue. The pitch to Boyer now. That is a 6-10. And that is what we're reading right now on our dice tray. A 6-10-16 on the... And when we look it up, 6-10... Is a ballpark slash. I was looking in the wrong column. I'm just second guessing myself. It is a ballpark slash. Uh, it's 610. It's easy to get confused. It's a ballpark slash. Boyer right handed in San Francisco. Uh, and that's going to be. One to seven base hit, it was a 16. It is a liner to Lanier after all. So we were right all along. And, you know, better safe than sorry. That's what I always say. Oh, Lord. And we're heading now. It's one out. And now Bob Tillman is the hitter. Tillman is the hitter. There may be a hitter for Tillman here. There's a little bit of power, but let's see if the Braves will bring in someone to hit for Tillman. Barton would come in if they tie it up or go ahead here. Oh, my. Oh, they're going for the, the gusto. It's going to be Dick Dietz, Kathy Harden. And Dietz will stay in. Oh, Dick Dietz, who has hit home runs. Not lately. But he hit some in the spring to win some big games. Dick Dietz, what a, what a choice. And he would stay in. It's just a coincidence that he's a catcher. It's one out, he's got the power, against, especially against left-handers. McCormick, one hit and or walk away from fatigue. Very tense. Tillman can hit one, Dietz can hit one. No, Dietz is, uh, wait a minute. Oh, you're so right. I have fucking... <laughs> that's the weed. <laughs> that's the freaking weed. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh. That's... <laughs> There's going to be somebody else. And folks, you know, we go through it all. For the most part, I th think I've played a pretty straightforward ball game here. I don't think I've made any errors. They've all been either rectified and or uh, we tried to bring Dietz in. That was a slick move. <laughs> but no, there will be a hitter for... I know we can hit one, Tillman, but... 
Okay, well, let Tillman hit. Okay, look at those home runs. We'll shoot for the one column. We'll let Tillman stay in. Okay, we can definitely hit for Garrido if he doesn't hit into a double. <laughs> I don't know. Bick owns that. Does, uh, didn't they sell out the Nesmith family? Okay, Tillman now. One out, first on second. He's the tying run at the plate. Here's the pitch from McCormick. That's 6-5 right-handed, and he walked him. And out comes Clyde King. The bases are full now. Tillman a 1-8. There's going to be a hitter now for Garrido. And Ralph Gar is coming in to run for Tillman because he's the tying run on a double with no asterisks. Folks, we're not playing around. Gar will run, and I want the Giants. So, you know, I'm just doing what I think is right. And uh, it would be uh, Didier coming in. He played yesterday if they tie or go ahead. So Didier will come in before Garrido, and there's going to be a hitter for Garrido here. All of a sudden, Ralph Gar on first, Cepeda on second, Cardi on third, you never need to run unless you're tagging. And we're not interested in a tag. Christ. Yes, Bill Ivamy, McCorrick has reached fatigue. I was just saying that. And there's going to be a pinch hitter and uh, for Garrido, but let's see who's coming in here. Now, they have a real problem because I'm looking to see now if any of these folks, Doyle pitched in real world in this game, he could be a choice. But if he pitched on the 13th, he's not eligible. And if any of these people pitched on the 13th, ineligible. Now let's go. It doesn't take long. It's not hard. Let's just check. I don't keep a very sophisticated way of, ma of monitoring this. We're looking for the, uh, actually, oh, from McCormick, we're looking for, I'm doing <laughs> them again man if he pitched on the 13th he's not available <sighs> he did not Gaylord pitched a complete game so it's Don McMahon coming in Don McMahon. The hell? It's really come down to this. McCormick is pulled. It's the ace, Don McMahon, if you will, if there is such a thing. And McMahon is coming in. He's taking his warm-ups. McCormick pitched eight and one third. Five hits. Six hits.
He did not strike a batter out today. Doesn't really matter, but he's allowed two, and he's responsible for the tying run. In Ralph Gore at first, and Don McMahon comes in. He is the right-hander. Let's see who they're going to bring in, the Braves. Very tense here. It will be Tony Gonzalez, the left-handed hitter. Tony Gonzalez. Uh, I don't think Francona is. Francona, there. He's, he's on... Um, He's on Oakland. Tito Francona. Bill. Bill, he's on uh, on Oakland. Here's Gonzalez. Who's hitting for Garrido. And then Niebauer would be due up. Lord. That's Gonzalez for Garrido. Lord. Boy, that gets confusing. Here's McMahon now. The pitch to Gonzalez. 4 6 left handed, flies it to right. That's uh, Bonds getting under that. It's a C. And the runners hold, so it's two away now. Base is loaded, and there'll be a hitter here for Niebauer. Right down to the wire here. They'll get one more crack at it. The Braves will. Mike Lum is a choice because he's a left-hander. We'll go with Lum, sure. 268 hitter, absolutely. Not much power. I think he had power other years. We'll go with Lum, sure. Giants one out away from the win here over the first place Braves. McMahon now. Base is full. Two outs. Here's the pitch to Lum. That's 1 9. Right handed. Flies it to left. And Henderson has it. The game is over. Henderson with the catch on a 1-9 left-handed. And that'll do it, folks. No runs. Bases stranded. That was a tough one. Tough loss for the Braves, but the Giants pull it 4-2. to two. McCormick with the win. I guess we give McCann. McCann is not eligible for the save. He pitched two-thirds, got him out of it. Jarvis the loss, final line. Giants four runs, five hits out, uh, getting out hit and winning with no errors. Braves two runs, six hits and one error. So there you go, at, uh, go folks. Uh, hope you enjoyed the game. Nice win, Giants. Absolutely. It's about time. And they will narrow the gap to three and one-half games if they win on the 16th with Marischal. It will be two and one-half games. It's a very, 
very tough thing to have to go through it because the the, the uh, Cardinals are, are three games out. They have to win their next game. And speaking of their next game, it's right there on the landing page. Mets at the Cardinals. It's an early start, 7.30 in the morning. Then the final game of the 15th will be Baltimore at Washington in the afternoon at 2 p.m. Stay strong, everybody. Stay well. And I'll catch you all next time, okay? Got it, Dave. My pleasure. Hope all is well with you. Kathy Harden, you take care. Bill Ivamy, thank you very much. And baseball demos, thanks for getting that going. And I'll catch you all next time, okay? You all take care.